Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to be showing you how to SSH into your iDevice. Okay guys, so what SSH into your iDevice allows you to do is like, if you want to download a file um, on your, like, your Safari browser on your iDevice, you can download it and where it would be safe to is, I have this uh, package that I downloaded from City called iFile, and in here it's pretty much the same thing as SSH into your device, except you can't save it to your computer if you do it this way. Uh, but uh, it'll be saved into like your media and then your downloads. So in here it'll have all your stuff downloaded from uh, your Safari. And what you can do is like if you download like a movie on your device, you can drag that onto your computer and you'd be able to play it right on your computer rather than your iDevice. So it's just a little bit more convenient. Maybe you're uh, at like a Wi-Fi hotspot somewhere or you're at a hotel and you're not home. Uh, you can download it there and then when you get home you can go ahead and put it right on your computer. Uh, so it's very convenient and I find it very useful. Um, but how you're going to do this is I'm on a Mac computer, so I have a program called Cyberduck. So you're going to go ahead and open that up. Um, so if you're on Mac, I'll put a link for Cyberduck in the description. If you're on Windows, I'd use something like WinSCP or some kind of SSH program, uh, maybe like iFunbox or something like that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for both users uh, and what SSH thing you can use. Um, I know WinSCP doesn't work for a lot of Windows users for some reason. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll just put a couple in there for Windows users, but uh, Cyberduck should work for all Mac users. So I'm going to give an example of how you can use this. Uh, well, first of all, to make sure that this will work correctly, you open up Cydia and you'll have to install two different things. Uh, you're going to go to the search and you're going to search for SSH. And uh, once you search for that, I'll show you what will come up. And once it loads up, you will search SSH and hit search. And uh, once this loads up everything, it will show you what uh, will pop up and what you have to install. Yes, yeah, so here's all the search results. You'll need something called Open SSH, which I have uh, installed already, and Automatic SSH. Uh, so you will have to have both of those installed from Cydia, and that'll work uh, very nicely on your computer now. So I'm going to give an example. Let's go into Safari, and let's go ahead and go to Google, and maybe just uh, download an Apple logo or something like that. And then I'll show you what you can do with this now. Okay, guys. So here's a photo that I found on Google, and it's loading up right now. There we go. It has loaded up now. So what you're going to do is you just hold your finger on the picture, and hit download image, and you're going to save it right into your downloads. And it'll start downloading, and uh, it's about five megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. My internet is pretty slow though, so uh, but it will appear in iFile, and I was going to show that really quickly before you uh, go into CyberDuck or whatever SSH, SSH or program you're going to be using. Um, but it will be in iFile and in my downloads folder. Okay, guys, so I finished downloading here now, uh, and if we do go into iFile, which I have in my um, device, see this isn't necessary. You don't need it. I just want to show you on my device first. It is in here, uh, and there it is. Uh, Apple wallpaper. So if I click in there, um, it'll, it should load up on here. There you go. So that's what I just downloaded there. So now what you're going to do on your computer is you're going to open a connection in Cyberduck. You're going to do uh, SFTP. In the server, you're going to go into your settings. And uh, it'll be your IP address of whatever network you're on. Uh, so here's my, uh, my network right here. You click on the blue arrow. It's 192.168.0.3. And I already have the server uh, saved in here uh, from previous SSH. So there you go. Uh, the port you can see the same, but this will be root. And the password is Alpine, and it connect. And I just got, there we go. So now you are going to go to uh, VAR, and you're going to mobile. There we go. Media, downloads, and here's the folder that I just got, and I just double clicked it. So now it's downloading it onto my computer. And you can actually just do a quick view if you want right here, like a quick look right here. There you go. So this is the quick look. I just downloaded it, and you can see exactly what photo it is. So exit out of there, and it has completed the download. And it does not look like it's on my desktop. It's probably my downloads folder. Yep, there it is. So I drag it to my desktop. It is on my computer now. So if you like want, to, if you would download like a movie or something like that, it will go into the downloads. And uh, once it's in your downloads, uh, you can drag it to your computer, and uh, you will watch the movie right on your computer if you wanted. Uh, so it is very useful, and I find it useful uh, all the time if I download something on my device. Um, but you can use it for plenty of different themes. Um, you can, if you like, you can download like a theme for your device, like on your computer, and you can SSH it into your uh, device, and it's just everything works a lot nicer. If you don't want to download it like on your device, you can you can use it for plenty of different things. Uh, but that's all, guys. I just found it very useful, so I thought it might uh, come useful to you guys too. So I want to make a video on this. Uh, but that's all, guys. If you uh, got confused at any point in this video or anything like that. Uh, go ahead and uh, just send me a message or comment on the video or something like that, and uh, I'll respond to you shortly, and I'll help you out with whatever you need. Uh, but if you like this video, guys, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for videos like this.
And you can follow my Twitter account, guys, for tech updates and my video releases. And that's all for now, guys. This is Act Tech Every Week, signing out.